Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is the first video on mods for Flight Sim 2024, a subject we discussed before the sim came out. And if you wanna see how to get the frame gen mod working in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, stick around. It's actually very, very simple. I did a video before the sim came out talking about the various mods that we might be using, the ones that we used in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and whether or not they would likely be available in 2024. My prediction for the frame gen mod was that it eventually would work and it probably wouldn't take a whole lot of time before it did. But as it turns out, it doesn't even need any change or update at all. I'm gonna put a link in the description to this page here where you come to download it. What you wanna download is the DLSS G to FSR 3 0.100 universal package. You just click here on manual download. It'll bring you to this page. Come here to slow download, click on that. This will pop up. I have an account here on Nexus Mods and I have signed in. I don't remember whether you need to sign in or not to do this. If you do, don't have any hesitation to sign up and sign in to Nexus Mods. They don't spam you, they don't give you any nonsense. It's very, very easy. So don't hesitate to sign up if you need to, to access this file and download it. Once you've downloaded the folder, simply right click and unzip it. However you wanna unzip it is fine. Go into this folder and what you're looking for is the DLL version. Go into the DLL version. There's a simple readme which explains right here what to do. It's very, very simple is find your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 install folder. It's gonna be here for every, unless you've installed it in a different location, it's gonna be under C, Xbox games, limitless content. Once you are in this folder, you simply go back to the zip folder, take these two DLLs right here and drag them into your content folder and you are done. Then all you have to do is load Microsoft Flight Simulator, come up here to the right-hand corner to the settings, your graphics settings, and you will see right here, NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. Turn that on, save and back, and you are good to go. Once you've run the sim with this mod installed, if you just click on date modified to see your latest modified folder or file rather in this folder, your content folder, you'll see this DLSS G to FSR3 log file. If you just double click on that, it's gonna give you a log file explaining what's going on. You do need to have HAGS, hardware accelerated, GPU scheduling enabled in order for this to work, but I'm presuming that if you're looking to do this in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, that you've already done this in 2020, and thus you have had HAGS enabled already. One other quick note while we're here, if we hop into DLSS Swapper, I have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 DLSS file 3.8.10. However, somewhat shockingly, I have to admit, Asobo has delivered this sim with the same DLSS file that was in the original Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, version 2.4.10 or 2.0, I can't remember which. So basically, we still, in 2024, Flight Sim 2024, have a two-year-old DLSS file. However, the good news, if we come down here to the frame gen file, which is this NVNGX DLSS G file. If you right click that, come down here to properties and come over here to details, you will see they actually updated or, or delivered the SIM with an updated version of the frame gen DLSS file. So the latest frame gen file is already in the SIM, which does make sense. However, you do have to update the regular DLS DLSS file through DLSS Swapper. I'll put a link in the description for DLSS Swapper if you don't know what it is. Simply come here, it's on GitHub. Over here on releases, we want version 1.0.5. Click on that, then click here on the installer. 
save the installer wherever you'd like to save it. Double click on the EXE to install the program. It'll walk you through it, very, very easy to do. Once you've done that, open DLSS Swapper. You're gonna see here, in my case, I have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024. As I mentioned before, for whatever reason, they've still delivered this sim with version 2.4.12, which is the DLSS file from October of 2022. And very quickly, what the DLSS file is, this is deep learning super sampling. This is a package of basically settings that NVIDIA has put together using machine learning and AI. And the DLSS file works hand in hand with your driver to give you the best performance and graphics that you can get in whatever game that you're playing. So in order to update the DLSS file for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, simply come here and click on the library icon. And when you come here into the library, you're gonna see the latest version is 3.8.10. Simply click here on the down arrow for downloading. It's gonna take just a second to download the file. Come back over here to the games library. Click on the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 icon. Click on 3.8.10 and click swap. And you are done. And now with that file updated, what you're gonna have is, like I said, the best performance, performance and graphics that you can get in the sim. One thing to remember, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, one of the things that Asobo did anytime they made any sort of update to the sim is they rolled back this DLSS file. I have no idea why, but as anytime there was a sim update, a world update, I believe even ARAC updates, Whenever those updates came and you downloaded and installed the update, the DLSS file got rolled back. I will try and be on top of this and remind you guys to check these when updates to the sim come out. But just be aware that any sort of update to the sim, you're going to have to do this again, check this again, and in all likelihood, update your DLSS file once again. So the good news is we do have the frame gen mod available in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I hope everyone is successful in their attempts to get into the sim and are now familiarizing yourselves with it and enjoying it. This is obviously gonna make it a much more enjoyable experience for all of us who don't have native frame gen. Please put your comments in the, in the comment section below. Let me know how everyone is doing coming along with the sim. If you have any questions, experiences, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day.